guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Giselle and I am a makeup artist. I love watching these videos. I get inspiration from them and I hope you do too. I have already made a video like this a while ago. I think, I think a year ago, but I think it's time to show you how I organize everything. I really love the way I organize my kit. It's a lot more condensed. I actually depotted a lot of my foundations, my powders, because it took a lot of space. And as a makeup artist, y'all know it hurts your back. You're carrying a lot of things to venues. So try to condense your kit if you haven't already. That's my number one tip. I'm actually in my studio and when I don't have jobs here, I have to take a chair, a light, and a table sometimes because you never know if the venue has a designated area or a vanity for you. I always take it and then if I don't see somewhere where I can lay out my kit, I'll take it out of the car and I have my own space. So let's get started because this video is going to be a little long. So come with me. If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so like I was saying, this black table, I actually mentioned it in the other video. This is the same one. I actually have two, so one's in there, one's here. And I like that it's foldable. It is pretty long, but it's perfect. Like, it's not too long where you're, like, taking one for a picnic for a family of 10, but it's perfect for you to lay out your stuff because we take a lot of stuff with us. And I got it from Walmart. And then the chair, I can't really say where exactly, but I'm pretty sure my mom bought it off of Amazon, if I'm correct. It was a present definitely recommend you getting your own chair guys because you cannot be hovering over your clients it's just super unprofessional if you're all up in your face like that at that angle and it hurts your back so keep in mind that your body is your equipment it's your tool so you got to take care of it in the long run because you're gonna be old and your bones are gonna be hurting because you were standing like all awkwardly on your client as for my light I use the Glamcore light I don't have it with me at my studio actually because I have this light with me and then I have different lights in my room. I use the other one when I'm like going to jobs. I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see it. It's definitely not cheap but it's such a great investment. I actually got mine as a birthday gift so maybe you can get one for your birthday or a Christmas present something like that. Just saying, it's a great, great investment. Don't forget your light. As a makeup artist, it really shows your work if you have great lighting. If you have great lighting, your work's gonna look a lot better on Instagram and people are gonna wanna hire you. Okay, so this is what I carry with me when it comes to like my makeup bags. So I typically, in this little plastic baggie, I put my palettes in here and my palettes would go in this bag. This bag is also from Amazon. I got it a long time ago actually for my cosmetology school kit. I would keep like my blue dryers my hair curling irons and everything in here now i use it because it's really really easy to roll things so i'll put my eyeshadows in here but i don't have any eyeshadows right now so i'm just gonna shove that in there so keep in mind my eyeshadows will be in here and then i keep a portable little collapsible trash can definitely buy this if you haven't already it keeps your area clean because your trash will go in this little bucket and it collapses so it doesn't take up that much space i will leave everything in the description box below so you can buy the same things as me and here i keep an extra bag just in case like extra sponges extra touch-up kits extra anything literally just in case if i get extra clients and then the last thing i keep in this little thing is a sally hansen airbrush this is just in case if someone gets like a really ugly sunburn and and I need to cover up their sunburn with something like this on their chest or shoulders. And I like this bag a lot because it has like side pockets. So I'll keep like plastic bags, a water bottle for me if I forget my Stanley cup. And then over here I have a first aid kit with medicine. I have eye solution because I wear contacts and just for anyone. I have an extension cord in here. And I also keep my towels in here. I also throw in this bag that has all of my lip products. I definitely recommend to have your lip products in this bag just because let me show you how it's organized. I got this idea from Asia. She's a makeup artist here in Alabama and it really helps to see what you have. So the lip liners, I keep all on this little pamphlet thing and then everything else will go in here. 
and I also limit myself to lip liners because I love makeup but sometimes I'm like okay I don't need any more lip liners I don't have any more space but look I actually made space for one more I used one up so now I can buy an extra one but most of the time a lot of my clients always ask for nudes or like light pinky nudes so that's what I have a majority of but I do have like random dark lip liners and reds and berries but I love this thing also from Amazon this is also from Amazon and I recommend it because I keep all of my dirty brushes in here so it's just a little brush carrier and I like to keep it in the corner when I'm working this is also a great investment for your brushes guys like it really makes a difference I like how big it is it's the extra large this one is super big because I wanted to store all my makeup brushes and in here I also carry my setting sprays at the moment I'm using the one size on till dawn it's literally waterproof I've noticed that it does make your skin look a little bit more matte so if you have a client who sweats a lot and is super oily you should spray this on them I love my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray this is never gonna leave my kit and then here I also have the Scandinavia Bridal Spray in this little container. Here I have eye brushes and brows. So I keep them in here because they're smaller brushes and I don't want them to be like all lost in here. So I keep them in this little plastic container. This is actually from Amazon. This came with a pack of artist brushes. These I think, I'm pretty sure, came with these brushes and I just kept the plastic to keep all the other brushes. So all these are like my eye brushes. And all these are face brushes. And then in this back pocket, I keep my business cards back here. I like how it has that feature. And then on this side, I keep all my eyeliners and brow pomades. So that stays on this side. In the front, I keep all of my little metal palettes, bowls, finger palette, and some tissues as well. And then on this side, I have scissors and a bunch of eyelash glue and a little pencil sharpener as well oh and then in the back pocket i leave this little treat for me in case i don't eat it's a kind bar as you know we never really eat as makeup artists which is really bad now with the fun stuff this is the Rolavel extra large bag i used to carry two i used to carry this extra large and then a large one but i finally got it to just one bag so let me show you in the top over here, I keep some diamonds, like little rhinestones in case, like the wax pen that helps to apply them. I have a little like square thing to like use credit cards and stuff in case. A little trash bag in case I run out. I usually leave them in here. I have a refill there. And this is from Amazon. And then these are little doggy poopy bags. Perfect for the trash can that I was showing you. And then over here, I have a bunch of little eyelash glues that I give to my brides if they ask for them. I actually get these when I buy eyelash lashes and I just store them in there and then I have this light it's so bright guys for being so tiny I like to use this when I take pictures because I need all the lighting I can get you can dim it you can make it brighter I also carry extra under eye little collagen uh, masks and then in this palette over here, I keep very pale blush toned blushes. And then I have like a darker highlighter and the Anastasia contour kit and like the dark to deep shades. This just always gets like in the way if I leave it down here. So I just leave it up here. And then this is a game changer if you haven't done this already is by condensing your eyelashes. It's just like the best thing for storing them guys. You really get a lot of eyelashes with you and like everything is just condensed and really compact and doesn't waste of your space and then over here when you flip to the main little bag okay so over here i have creaseless clips some tweezers I have some more shears for my eyelashes eyelash curlers and then some mascaras i never buy high-end mascaras because i literally run out so quickly so right now i'm really liking these two and then i have some eyebrow pencils just in case but honestly i never use them i use my brow powders and then i have like a clear mascara for maybelline i have a makeup by mario clear brow gel and spatulas quartz roller i think and then in this back pocket over here i keep this is actually from the lipstick bag but i took it out and i am storing like all my eye pencils over here i love these from makeup by mario 
And then this one's by the One Size brand by Patrick Star. And I have Essence. Essence actually really has amazing eyeliners. And then these are like super cool duo chrome Danessa Myricks eyeliners. They're super thin though. That's the only thing. They break very easily. And then over here I have a whole rainbow of eyeliners from NYX. Then I like to keep my mirror back here if I can take her out. This mirror is from Jeffree Star and it's in the iridescent shade. I love it so much. She's literally so cute. It makes my clients like smile when I pull her out. It's so funny. It's literally all the small things. As you can see, I took out like the little styrofoam dividers and I just bought these little containers from Target. They're life changing. I have one, two, three. Four, four of them in here. No, I don't. Oh my God, I cannot count. That was so embarrassing. I have five in here. And then I have a tiny little plastic one holding like the skincare. What helped to keep it all in this one bag, guys, is like depotting a lot of my things. So as you can see, I have skincare in these containers. I have like a little tiny pot for my e.l.f. putty primer. This little squeezy tube for my MAC Mattify primer. And these are just like tiny little squeezy tubes of like I didn't depot these because they're super tiny and then I bought a smaller fan because I used to have a bigger one but this one's really small and compact and very powerful still I have a brow soap that I use this is the pears brow soap it's not really for brows but I like it for the brows and then I have some cotton rounds over here I love to use this to hold my sponge so it's not rolling around and then I have hand sanitizer some setting spray I actually mix the Rem Beauty Mist thing with the MAC Fix Plus, and that's why it's like a little bit blue. I have some Cinema Secrets in here, alcohol, toner. This is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner, literally one of my favorites. I also depotted it, and a micellar water from Bioderma. And over here, I have some bronzers from Juvia's Place. I like that these are duo. So I have several shades to pick from. These are some Morphe bronzers. I have a darker one from the Black Radiance line. This is the dark to deep one. And then I have dark deep Makeup by Mario stick, the bronzer. And I typically use the Danessa Myricks cream. I think this is like the balm. Let me see. This is like a balm bronzer from Danessa Myricks. And then I have an hourglass bronzer in the shade Nude Bronze Light. And I actually just got this new shade of the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC in Dark to Deepest. I felt like I needed a darker one because I love using Give Me Sun. But Give Me Sun isn't as like dark for darker clients. So I got this darkest shade for that and I love it. And then I got two of these. They're very similar. The e.l.f. Halo Glow and the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't even have like the front anymore it's like literally rubbed off um so i mix these if you have a client in between shades i have like a laura mercier little glowy powder and candlelight they don't even make this anymore but i depotted it so it wouldn't be like estorbando this is like my go-to recommend it this is a dior universal palette this is actually a second one that i have in my kit because my first one was just really really bad it was already broken and i hit pan on like several shades and so my sister got me this one so shout out to her i have an hourglass luminous light powder i love using this for older mature skin this is like one of my favorite blushes from hourglass and this is in sublime flush this color sublime flush is so pretty guys it's super like sheer but like it just looks so good on the cheeks like it does build so if you're like oh my gosh it's so expensive but like it's really really nice i kind of want one for myself and then i actually got the cookie highlight from benefit it's so pretty guys and this blush over here and then i have a patrick ta blush i literally loved it so much i used it up like i actually hit pan on it that's how much i love it this is in the shade she's seductive and then I have Highlight 01 by Laura Mercier. It's so pretty. It reminds me a lot of the Essence highlighter. I have a cream highlight from Vive. It's super pretty, but I only use this for clients who have more mature skin. And over here, I depotted the Dior Glow. I actually cannot find this. I don't know if it's discontinued or whatever, but after I'm finished with this one, I'm going to try to get the Rio de Janeiro ones. The I've seen a lot of makeup artists use those too, so I'm going to try to get that one after I use this one. And I have two cream palettes from RCMA. I bought both because I like to have a variety of shades. So I really like the formula. You don't need a lot. 
this probably has to be one of my favorites in my kit is the Jaclyn Hill blush palettes. I got this one recently. It's the warmer of the two. Having blush palettes just really condenses your kit and look at those shades. They're so pretty. I also like to label a lot of my stuff because it helps to see what I'm reaching for. So over here I have my brow palette from Anastasia. They don't make this anymore, unfortunately, which I think it's crazy. It's such a fave of mine because I have everything that I need, all the shades, and so sad that they don't have this anymore. So if you haven't depotted your foundations, guys, it really makes a difference. I used to carry, let me show you, all of these foundations in my kit, and it was just so heavy. So I'm gonna show you. I carry NARS Longwear, Sephora Collection, Best Skin Ever, I love that foundation. And then the Makeup Forever Reboot. I also carry NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Literally so pretty on the skin too. All my foundations are more like medium coverage. I don't ever buy full coverage foundations. Also, one of my faves is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Love, love, love. And last but not least, L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. I started using this foundation and then I started building my way up to higher end foundations. If you're looking for a good one to buy at the drugstore, L'Oreal always has amazing foundations. So that's what I have in here and I did label them and these bottles have been a lifesaver I love how they're like let me see they're like a push and you have twist and the tip is just so precise It's not messy and it helps to not spill a lot of the product onto the palette I noticed that I do save a lot of my foundation because before I would be really like I wouldn't be careful and I would just drop too much but this is perfect I love these so much and then I also do carry face atelier I have three shades I have zero plus plus shade two and then I have a negative or minus zero and then I have some primers so I have some NYX glitter glue and the P Louise I have another P Louise in here just look at the bottom I have three shades so I have I think I carry this is 0.5 and then shade 2 I use a lot this is shade 5 and then over here this is also a game changer putting all your powders in these little tiny containers so I have by Terry colorless powder I have Huda Kanufa I have Givenchy's Rose Powder in here, Allure Mercier Medium to Deep, and then I have Hada's Pound Cake back there. And look how condensed that is. Like before, it would just take up so much space. If I put all of these powders in here in their original packaging, it would probably fill up this one square. So look at that space that I made. And then I carry these powders from one size. I only keep three shades. I feel like that's enough for me because I honestly use it just to set their eyes after concealing their lids. For concealer, I use um, one size. I also use Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer, one of my go-tos. This one is also very, very pretty. This is Dior's Forever Skin Corrector. And I also really like the e.l.f. hydrating concealers. Last but not least, I carry these two color correctors. One from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade 1. And I also carry this like orangey one from Black Radiance. Oh, I forgot to show you that I also carry this Bobbi Brown Mini Face Base. This is amazing. It smells so good. And all my clients, every time I put it on them, they're like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells kind of like fresh and like... Like it just smells really good like a spa but yeah pretty much that's all of it in here let me know if you have any questions or if you're like wondering where i got it from if i didn't mention it but i'm gonna try to put as much of the things that i mentioned down below so you guys can click on the link and just buy it okay guys i hope you all enjoyed seeing my kit if you liked the video remember give it a thumbs up let me know and i will see you in the next one